charge of the bulwark, Charlie Sykes. And with me at the table is the Democratic strategist and director of the public policy program at Hunter College, Basil Smichael. Welcome to all of you. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, Glenn, let me just start with you and what happened in that court today with uh, Judge Chutkin. Uh, it, it got heated at times. There were times when Judge Chutkin said to the defense of the Trump team, uh, you're simply not getting the two-year extension that you're hoping for. And in the end, they got two months. Yeah, Ali, it did get heated at times, but the heat was coming from just one side of the courtroom. That was from the defense counsel's table. Uh, John Lauro, the lead defense attorney for Donald Trump, started loud and he only got louder. And twice, Judge Chutkin asked him to please take the temperature down. He was arguing passionately about why he contended he needed two and a half to three years to prepare the case for trial. Now, I will say Judge Chutkin opened with... Um, neither of the two trial dates that have been proposed, January, this coming January 2nd by the prosecution or April 2026 proposed by the defense, neither are appropriate. So I was sort of expecting maybe a Solomonic splitting of the difference. Um, but here's how it sort of played out. She gave the defense team several opportunities to come up with a more realistic proposed trial date. And John Lauro stubbornly refused to budge even one month or one day. And by the end of the hearing, and I think she had a pretty good sense coming into the hearing what she was thinking. By the end of the hearing, she said, well, Mr. Lauro, your idea and my idea of how much time is necessary to prepare a trial are very, very different. And I'm setting jury selection to begin in this case on March 4th, 2024. So that is about seven months or so from now. She believes that gives Donald Trump's defense team enough time to adequately prepare for trial.